I can't move. You need to hide the controls in your pocket and go out with it on your shoulder. Yeah. We are going to go to the arcade club. I'm really excited because it's my first time going there. So it used to be four hour time slots, but now I think they've changed it so you can just, you can spend all day in there if you wanted to really. Uh, it's 16 pound adults, eight pound children. I think it's up to, I think under five to three, something like that, and over 16 you become an adult. They do monthly passes now it seems as well, which I think was 40 pounds, and the three month pass was 80 pounds, which I think is a pretty good deal, especially if you like playing games. I went in there about a month ago when it just opened, and it was absolutely boiling on that second floor. So I'm really hoping they've fixed the, a the AC. What is it? Sophia's showing me something. I don't know what it is. What is it, Sophia? Yeah. Apparently there's a rat on the floor. Urgh. Ducks. Lots of ducks. That's why, I don't know if we can pick it up on video, but there's, there's that man feeding them. And they're all the way over there. There's hundreds of them. And there's more coming. Oh. Sophia's just seen Pac-Man through the window. She's yeah. super excited. Yeah. I have saw what's inside before by these windows from walking past, but I've not went inside to see all of it. Alright, let's go. This is some weird Japanese game. You can reach the pedals. Sit in the seat and we'll find out. Can you, can you push them? Yeah. Does the seat move forward and back, maybe? find out. Outrun two. <laughs> two players, so. Wow, the seats move. Yeah. You weren't expecting the whole car to vibrate and shake every time she did something. She's doing quite well. and ride at the same time, I'm not doing very well. That's it, turn the bike, lean into it. It's difficult. Pac-Man 
playing games now. You get more points? First floor has all the older arcade games, which is like what I would have played when I was Sophia's age, about seven or eight years old. Sophia prefers the games downstairs, the nice, colourful, fun games. Check out the third floor. Sonic. She's hypnotised by the Minecraft room. Cheeseburger. playing by itself for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. It's a ghost player. There's some crazy games in there that I've never seen before. So I think Sophia's favourite games were definitely Outrun because the car moved all over the place and that was quite fun. And that ball throwing game, Scotto, Scooto, I don't know, something like that. That was fun. We must have spent an hour on that, just trying to hit the ball against the target and then get it in the bucket. It was fun. Give it a go sometime. But now we're back home. i got to build Freya's new bed. She's a big girl now, she's almost two. So we was gonna get her a new mattress and just thought, well, we'll just get her a new bed. So off to come the sides and it's just a brand new bed and hopefully she's actually gonna sleep in it. So let's do it. So this is Freya's old bed. We're gonna take it all down, get rid of it and then build the new one. So that's done and now we have all this stuff to put together. Um, a few screws, nothing too major, let's go. And there we go. I was going to do a whole time lapse, but I'm rushing a little bit and didn't have time for that. I've got to get to bed. Mattress on and, well, this is not Sophia's bed. Sophia's far too big. She's got a big bunk bed. Mine is up there. Yeah, so hopefully Freya's going to sleep on it. And straight into bed. No problems so far. Let's hope this continues. So now she's got a big bed. This is what we have to contend with. Yeah. Sorry. 
So it's the next morning and Freya, of course, stayed awake all night long. <sighs> Today's gonna be a super long day with, we're very tired. Until next time, let's chip. Mm -hmm.